Yo ho ho! So today I'll be doing my bookshelf tour for 2018. It's been about two years or so since I did my last one and realistically probably not a lot has changed, but hopefully you'll see some new books that I haven't really talked about before on my channel, so let's get into it. So this is the overview of my two bookshelves and what you see behind me in my videos and all that good stuff. It's a nice bright sunny day so everything looks nice for once. So, starting in the left-hand corner, I have all my little trinkets. I have my Laura Palmer Pop from Twin Peaks, which my boyfriend got for me, and I completely adore it. I have The Secret History of Twin Peaks by Mark Frost, which I haven't read yet, but don't tell anyone. I also collect weird, like, 70s tarot card and astrology books. I've only got two so far, but these are them, and they have some interesting artwork. Then I have all the alcohol, which you never see because I always stand in front of it. I have the Wendy Torrance The Shining Pop. I have Sailor Moon shot glasses because I am classy as hell. And then I have my Folio Society book, so I have one on the Persians, the Egyptians, the Hittites, and the Babylonians. And this is a collection that I picked up secondhand for 20 euro and I think it's incredible. And then there's my graphic novel collection, which I did a full in-depth video on earlier in the year, which I will link below. And now we're going to start with my Blu-rays. So this is the overview of my little Blu-ray collection. Starting with Lady and the Tramp, The Lion King, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, Pocahontas, Matilda, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Willow, Labyrinth, The Bird Cage, The Rocky Horror Picture Show, Clerks, Kill Bill Volume 1, and Kill Bill Volume 2, Fight Club, Stand By Me, Titanic, The Breakfast Club, My Own Private Idaho, Donnie Darko, Pan's Labyrinth, Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. 30 Days of Night, The Addams Family, American Mary, Beetlejuice, The Blair Witch Project, Child's Play, Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, The Conjuring, The Craft, The Evil Dead Remake, the Exorcist, The Hills Have Eyes, Jaws, Let the Right One In, A Nightmare on Elm Street, The Omen, Pet Cemetery, Poltergeist, Scream, Shaun of the Dead, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Then onto my next shelf, I have Twin Peaks. The X-Files Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4, I, ha I have all the seasons, but we're going to keep going, Season 5, Season 6, Season 7, Season 8, and Season 9. And then I just have my Bride of Chucky, Tiffany Pop. And now on to the books. So I have The Complete Works of William Shakespeare, The Divine Comedy by Dante, We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson, White Noise by Don DeLillo, Ariel by Sylvia Plath, Last Night at the Viper Room by Gavin Edwards, Prozac Nation by Elizabeth Wurzel, American Psycho by Bret Easton Ellis, Less Than Zero by Bret Easton Ellis, one Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey. Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen. Trainspotting by Irvin Welsh. 
The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath Dracula by Bram Stoker Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk Perfume by Patrick Suskind A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess Wasted by Maria Hornbacker The Wasp Factory by Ian Banks Just Kids by Patti Smith M Train also by Patti Smith Requiem for a Dream by Hubert Selby Jr. Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank Frankenstein by Mary Shelley The Lottery and Other Stories by Shirley Jackson Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf to Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee 1984 by George Orwell Junkie by William S. Burroughs And that is my first bookshelf there. On to the second one, House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy On the Road by Jack Kerouac Dubliners by James Joyce the Greek Myths by Robert Graves The Secret History by Donna Tartt Middlesex by Geoffrey Eugenides An Unquiet Mind by K. Redfield Jameson Girls to the Front by Sarah Marcus I Dreamed I Was a Very Clean Tramp by Richard Hell The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson The Penguin Book of Witches Sybil by Flora Rita Schreiber Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood Asylum by Patrick McGrath Animal Farm by George Orwell We Need to Talk About Kevin by Lionel Shriver Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte The Room by Hubert Selby Jr The 120 Days of Sodom by the Marquis de Sade Confessions of an English Opium Eater by Thomas de Quincey Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut The Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman Howl and Other Poems by Allen Ginsberg And that is the overview of shelf number two. Now on to my horror section, so I have Dark Water by Koji Suzuki Ring Spiral And Loop All by Koji Suzuki as well Carrie by Stephen King Pet Cemetery by Stephen King and The Shining by Stephen King Rosemary's Baby by Ira Levin The Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells The Case Against Satan by Ray Russell I Am Legend by Richard Matheson The Body Snatchers by Jack Feeney Daisy Miller and the Turn of the Screw by Henry James Persepolis by Marjane Satrapi the Melancholy Death of Oyster Boy by Tim Burton Kill Your Friends by John Niven Choke by Chuck Palahniuk And Invisible Monsters also by Chuck Palahniuk Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll Filth by Irvin Welsh And Ecstasy by Irvin Welsh Bitch by Elizabeth Wurzel And The Songs of a Dead Dreamer by Thomas Ligotti that is the overview of my third shelf. And then my last shelf I have Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, Part 1, Steel and Snow, A Storm of Swords, Part 2, Blood and Gold, A Feast for Crows, and A Dance with Dragons, Part 1, Dreams and Dust, all by George R. R. Martin. Then I have The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien and The Lord of the Rings series starting with The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers and The Return of the King. Then I have Neil Gaiman's American Gods, Anansi Boys and Stardust. So this is my unintentional fantasy shelf. And here is my overview with my beautiful fan art of my best friend. So that has been my bookshelf tour for 2018. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.